This is breaking news. Liberation of Adam Lambert. The rock star is taking a free and sexy new approach to his latest music, inspired by nightlife and naughty good times. From the very first moment Adam Lambert illuminated our TV screens as a contestant on season 8 of American Idol, confidently crooning Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody, he seemed destined for greatness. And while his powerful vocals, good looks and charisma saw him place as first runner-up that year, he felt forced to hide a huge part of himself as he sought mainstream success, on the show, and later, as a music artist, even though he was out. I'd had such an interesting journey in my queerness on a public level, the Southern California native says. Coming out of American Idol, I was really excited to claim it and to be exactly who I've always been, but there were a lot of mixed emotions about it from the public. I got pressure from gay media at the time too, who were like, well, how gay are you going to be? And there was pressure from the business side. Fifteen years later, Lambert is feeling freer than ever, musically and personally. The 42-year-old is a bona fide LGBTQ plus icon not unlike his own idol, Freddie Mercury, whom he's been channeling since 2011 on stages around the world. His career has come full circle not only with his role in Queen, but with his own music, which has evolved from rock to pop to its current club vibe, much of it inspired by La Nightlife. I'm writing stuff that feels very free and liberated, he says of his upcoming EP, titled AFTERS, which includes a racy banger called Wet Dream and another called Lou. It's for people owning their sexuality or their gender identity. It's about not being afraid to go into that subject matter. You know, it's a little horny. The new material, which comes out on July 19, provides a sexy soundtrack for letting loose and having liberated moments. Perfect for pride parties, he plays out loud at WeHo Pride this Friday and beyond. This new project feels like an opportunity to be completely no-holds-barred and no-filter, he enthuses. I'm just doing exactly what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking, reflecting my real life and not editing it in any way. This wasn't always the case. Lambert recently released a new version of 2009's Grammy-nominated What Taya Want From Me, which he reveals have been changed to make it more accessible. The original lyrics in the chorus said he messed me up, but were replaced with it to be more vague, he says. Remixed by DJ White Shadow, the he mix as he calls it, reclaims the subject matter, making it clear the piece is about a male ex-partner. All of Lambert's latest work infuses more of a dance floor flair than ever before, which makes sense since the singer says he's been going out more and delving deeper into Luz after dark scene, even opening his own club, called The Wild, in WeHo with Roger Taylor late last year. Lambert's fans, known as Glamberts, will surely join him on his latest journey of expression. Notably, his fan base has as many straight women as gay men, making him a true trailblazer for the current crop of queer music stars on the charts. I'm so proud of all of my fellow artists out there able to showcase their identity and all the wonderful different colors of the pride rainbow, he says. We have real representation now and it's really exciting. Streaming and social media have allowed artists to find their fans on their own in a really organic way. It gives the power to the people.